Smart. Welcome back to Powertech TV. I don't know if I'm gonna go down or I've gotta go up here, but it's been a while, so here's the smile. And uh, today we've got something good for you. We've been working on this for a little while, actually, because they are the devil's own work to pull apart and build these things, but it's a 1819 model ZL1 Camaro with the supercharged LT4 in it. Good thing standard, rated at 477 kilowatts. And uh, owner had it for a little while, he's in a distator and he's gone a week. So we've decided to give it a bit of a touch up. Drop the engine out, comp cams 234, 248 cam, full DOD delete, full Manta exhaust system, got rid of the ugly little headers they've got on them, and of course the big Maggie Magnuson 2650 blower upgrade to give it a little bit of, bit more steam. So it's quite a job, they're quite technical to work on these things, and the best way of doing it is to drop the, uh, I like the way the planes always come over, only when I'm doing this. Great, isn't it? is to drop it out the bottom, lift the car up, pull it down, work on it, and then place it all back in nicely and let the tuning begin. Now standard, this thing made some pretty good numbers at the hubs, uh, tuned a the blow up. I reckon she's gonna go a little bit better. So let's just have a look at how good it really is. And here we have it, the results are in. You see that run, she was a little bit smoky. You know why? Because it's a paint coming off the brand new exhaust. It's only had about five runs because that's all it took to get it in the sweet spot, right in the meat of the power curve. Standard, 427.8 kilowatts at the hubs. So we lost 50 through the drive line. It's about right, I would suggest. Tuned up 556. So we made, and the, and the planes are back. They just, they're circling me. And so we made a good solid 130 odd gain out of it, which is like the kind of gain you get putting a blower on a normally aspirated V8. So the gains are huge and it should make this car very, very quick. But we've obviously optimized other areas uh, of the software like for economy, because it is quite an important thing these days. And uh, this thing should get close to stock economy, unless of course, the owner is standing on the throttle the whole time. And down low in the rev range, nothing lost really, which is surprising with a bigger blower and a big camshaft. Let's go back to, uh, this keyboard's a little bit more difficult than the Roller Dyno one. Let's go back to the air fuel ratios. We're running leaner because it was way too rich to start with. And obviously the torque is through the roof as well. So if you've got a Z01, we can put these packages together. They're quite a tricky thing to do compared to a Commodore, but we know what we're doing. So thank you for tuning in to a PowerTech TV.